we are here trying to explore possible answers to the question of what is Kansas's environmental future. We're stopping at historical markers, gift shops, and all these things, while also learning so much about the state. Dr. Sock keeps saying it all the time, it's like a family road trip. It's, it's really cool to experience that, so it's like just like a two-week summer camp. It's been fun. Kansas Abroad is a program to show students that Kansas is more complicated than we often give it credit for. What do you think you'll walk away with after this experience? Oh, a swollen brain from all the information I've learned. I've seen a lot of the photographers that I look up to have taken pictures at the Monument Rocks. Just appreciating that something so grand exists. Like we've seen some homegrown sustainable ag operations like Jayco Farms, Dairies. Just the way they do things differently and how they're still able to turn a profit and survive just kind of goes to show that there's a correlation between a healthy environment and a healthy economy. We can't go look for wolves in Kansas anymore, but we can certainly use Kansas, our backyard, as kind of a living laboratory. We're in rural Wallace County, and we are working on a project to return cropland to native grass. I think projects like this, like coming out and seeing a lot of regenerative farming and permaculture techniques has been really refreshing. It's shocking to see that there are people here in Kansas doing this work. What we offered in this whole experience for them was a day to just get out on the land. We took bare soil, cropland, and very quickly put forage material on it. And so we've tamed the dust bowl, if you will. For them to be able to walk amongst that together today with us was really special, I think. This trip has given me a lot of hope for what things can look like. Agroecology is living and evolving in this state, and that's a really important distinction. And that lives at the University of Kansas in the Environmental Studies program at this time. I would love to see this be an annual program as something unique that highlights not just KU's excellence, but that there are a lot of people and places to learn from right in our backyard.